In this video, we'll look at repelling and four different ways to belay repel. In this case, map the repel enemy directly off his harness. He's got his ATC clipped directly into the belay loop. Um, he's getting a belay on a second jet, so a true belay on that second row. You can see he's got his rope fit into his ATC there. Um, he's maintaining good body position, his upper body upright, lower body perpendicular to the cliff. Now, once he's made that edge transition, I've helped him out by vectoring the line there. And once he's made that edge transition, he continues on down. Um, he's getting a belay on that second rope. Uh, Jake's helping belay him. Uh, the true belay. Um, he's using a munter. He's got a prusik on the brake strand of that munter. Um, and I, as the edge person, am uh, helping to make sure that there's no additional slack between the edge and that down there. Uh, so Jake can see wherever slack it is. Yeah, go ahead, Jake. Yeah. Our second belay option that we're going to look at here is the fireman's or pole belay. Um, and that is, in this case, giving a belay to Jake as Jake repels. Uh, Jake's making his way over the edge up there. Um, he's repelling on a single line, repelling on a single line. He's got an ATC in his harness, same as Matt did, uh, into the belay repel loop. Um, and uh, Jake's making his way down. Matt has given him a pull belay from the bottom. The important parts here for Matt are to make sure that he's paying attention. He's got his hands on the rope. He's got his eyes up on Jake. Uh, he has to make sure that he's not in the fall zone or he's not exposed too much to uh, to getting knocked yeah, by rocks. Um, or maybe he doesn't want to use this technique because Matt. there's a lot of rock fall oh, potential you, in a particular area because you kind of by definition have to be in a rock fall zone to do this, to be able to keep eyes on. Um, so Jake just repels on his own, Matt lets him go. And if right at any there. point Matt decides that he needs to stop Jake because Jake's time. lost control or anything, Matt just gives a tug yeah. on that and that right. basically Did takes over it? the okay. belay hand right. or the brake hand for Jake. Uh, when Matt loosens up his grip, then Jake takes back over and can continue repelling back down the ground. No worries, easy, pull belay. Our third option for the belay while repelling is the so-called third hand self-belay. In this case, Matt's going to re repel again on a single line. Um, he's extended his device out from his harness. In this case, okay. he's used a Purcell pressing to do that. Any number of options we find to extend out. He's chosen that. Uh, probably don't want the device extended out any further than it is there. You want to have it within the arm's reach. Uh, but you also don't want it too close because the Prusik that Matt has put on the brake strand needs to be short enough that we definitely cannot hit that repel device and get tended by the device. So um, the third hand, so-called third hand, which is the prosthetic that uh, is on the brake strand, needs to be short enough, it can't hit that device. Um, and the extension needs to be long enough to make sure that it can't hit that device. Our last option is the self-belay on a second rope. This is not a commonly used technique, but I think useful for understanding how Prusik's work on uh, and making sure that we don't, uh, learning how to make sure that we don't tend to process too necessarily. So as I'm rappelling down here, I have my repel device in my harness um, without extension or anything. And I've put a, a Prusik on the fixed end of my Purcell Prusik, which I've also clipped into my harness. Um, and I'm gonna move that thing down the second rope as I go. I'm making sure not to just grab onto that and, and wrap down holding onto it. I'm going to push and let go and push and let go uh, the entire time that I'm moving down to make sure that that thing is not tended uh, accidentally in case I do lose control. That's it. Those are our four options for belaying while we were